Welcome to my channel Programming Guide by Bhargavi. In this video, I am going to explain you about the FIT BCom first year Terangana University first, inter, first sem imported questions BCom Fundamentals of Information Technology. So the first unit, first question define computer and explain its characteristics and applications. Second question explain block diagram of computer in details. So for this answer, you have to write each and every point for each and every part that means ALU, CU, memory unit, block and everything with a neat diagram minimum 7 to 8 points each you have to write so that you will get the good marks. So next third question is explain generations of computer. Next the fourth question is explain classification of computers based on the size. You have to write based on its size laptop, tab, PC like that. So the next question is explain list of input devices. So you have many number of input devices. So if the question is comes like explain list of input output devices, you have to explain them with each and every input device must be of 8 to 10 points. If, uh, if they have specified like keyboard mouse, so you have to elaborate keyboard and mouse only. But if the question is like input devices, you have to write them very clearly 8 to 10 points each device. Similarly, the output device also same right same thing you have to write. Next, explain printers and its types. Printers and its types also you have to write in the same manner. Next, unit number two. Explain number system, binary, octal, decimal, hexa. And the second question is how to convert from one decimal to another decimal. So here one decimal to another decimal in the sense binary to octal hexa and decimal to octal hexa binary like that you have to convert with the help of the example and steps also you have to write. Then the next third question is explain primary storage devices. So you have primary and secondary storage devices also. You have to write each and every storage device minimum 8 to 10 points so that you will get the full marks. And the last question is what are the difference between primary and secondary memory so you have to make a box box in that box you have to specify each and every input output uh, sorry primary and secondary memory devices with the points that you have to specify size capability volatile non volatile every point you have to explain if this question comes for the long answer now you have to specify minimum 15 differences between primary and secondary memory so that you will get the full marks so this is all about your second unit next we'll go for the third unit so in the second unit one more thing i have to explain you that is if they ask difference between RAM and ROM, then also you can write as a primary and secondary storage devices. So RAM ROM is one more important question and conversion is very important. Clear? Next we move for the third unit that is software applications. So define system software and application software and the definition of the software. So each and every software you have to write with subheadings with minimum 8 to 10 points very clearly. And the second question is explain programming languages with its advantages and disadvantages. Machine level language, high level languages and everything like uh, assembly language. Every language you have to write with its advantages and disadvantages. Next is uh, explain word processing. So word processing in the sense what are the characteristics are there, what are the advantages are there, disadvantages are there and applications of the word processing also you have to write for the long answer minimum 20 to 25 points you have to specify. Next fourth one is also very important question explain about DBMS software in detail. So in this also you have to write advantages, applications and disadvantages and why we are using this DBMS software. Next we will go for the next question that is the sixth question define applications of dbms spreadsheet representations and present sorry presentations and graphics so each and every application program application software you have to specify the applications right next the fourth unit define operating system and its types 8 12 to 13 operating systems are there you have to elaborate each and everything with minimum 5 to 6 points if anyone uh, if the question comes from the multitasking multi sharing 
multi programming multi processing like that you have to elaborate that each and every one with 15 to 16 points if the question comes all the operating system types you have to give them 8 to 9 points minimum next to dos commands so you have to explain the dos commands with the help of the examples next batch processing next what is unix and linux and the last unit is fifth unit explain basic networking devices so in basic networking devices you have router switch hub gateway that all the things you have to explain with the help of the neat diagrams next question explain data transmission media fiber optic twisted pair coaxial cable microwave system satellite communication system all these five you have to explain with the help of the neat diagram and the next question is what is a modem and explain its characteristics and the next question is very most important explain different types of networks that is LAN, MAN, WAN with its characteristics and advantages and disadvantages and a neat diagram and the next question is explain LAN topologies with the neat diagram so bus, star, ring, mesh, hybrid so all these you have to explain with a neat diagram and the last question last but when question computer protocols smtp ftp http all these protocols you have 10 to 12 protocols you have you have to explain with them each and every protocol minimum four to five points so that you will get the good marks and the final last question is osi model so this osi model consists of seven layers you have to explain the seven layers each layer should have minimum 5 to 6 points so that the answer will be elaborated and with the niche diagram you have to explain this one so whatever the FIT you have wherever you find a diagram so explain the diagram draw the diagram very neatly so that the paper will appear very neat so if the paper is neat and correct answers are there you will get good score clear this if you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel if this information is useful to your friends and any family members, please share. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.